Back in the day, people used to come down to the five and dime and pick up everything from a book or a greeting card, uh, camping gear, fishing equipment, or maybe stop and have a great lunch. We're here at the High Mountain Drug in Camas, and the Burger Bunch is ready to put them to the test. Fantasy perfect burger would come from a place like this. Yeah. You know, I love the pegboard shelves. I love the shape of all the little glasses up there. She just took one bite. I could stop now and write 500 words about this burger. <laughs> Right now. The ambiance here goes a long way. It's something, you know, straight out of American graffiti. Fantastic burger. The only thing I took away from was I thought the lettuce was a little soggy on there, but everything else was fantastic. And the french fries could sell those all by themselves. The burger itself was great. I mean, this is what you want in a burger. This is what all those national chains are trying to recreate. I would like to just preface my remarks by saying I'm really the only qualified professional in, uh, in the Burger Bunch. <laughs> I've been being I bet paid I've eaten more burgers than for you. my <laughs> yeah. about food for 27 years now. Proportions everything. And this is perfect. It's it's not even overcooked. The bun is there to hold it together. It's it's between a it's not even an exact, that's how artisanal it is. It's not a sort of pound burger or a half a pound burger, a pure Angus beef. It's just somewhere between a fourth and a third of a pound, depending on who patted it gently together. It's fabulous. I think this was the best burger we've had. You could eat this burger and go straight back into the swimming pool. I mean, this is definitely a burger that's kind of reminiscent of one of my favorites from my youth in Omaha, where we know a little bit about burgers. Mary might not think so, but it is <laughs> it is beef country in uh, Omaha. I love the burger too. I thought the most important thing to me was the proportion because we've eaten a lot of burgers that kind of try to overwhelm you with just sheer size. Overall, I thought it was a great burger. It Definitely one of my favorite. I, mean, I think this is just a good example of people knowing what they like and then just making it. And if you like that too, we're gonna eat that. You know, then you know we're all in agreement here. They're just making a hamburger. This is what it's supposed to be. Nothing too fancy. Nothing. Nothing crazy. You know, I couldn't really knock too many points off for for just about anything. I gave it an 85. I gave it an 86, which is very good in my spectrum of scores overall. I gave this burger a 92, which is the highest by far that I've given any burger. So I gave it an 85 out of 100. This burger makes me feel good about being an American. That's all. That's all. I'm not saying anything else. 86.8 <laughs> is the average score, definitely putting it into the top tier. Definitely worth the trip. Stop by High Mountain right here on the main drag, nestled right up in the Uinta Mountain, right up on the road to Mirror Lake Highway. If you want to see all of the features that we've done, go to our website, parkcity.tv.